Hey guys, how are you? I'm good. So today I am doing a review on the super popular Gucci Marmont belt. And in addition, I'm also going to talk about how to get your right size because apparently that's really hard to do. And also whether you should get this now in 2020. So if you like any of those things, keep watching. Otherwise, let's go. So first off, the style that I have is the one with the antique brass gold. And it's the bigger size out of the two, like two common sizes out there. So the belt is one and a half inches like high, I guess, or thick. And then the buckle is three inches wide and two, about two inches in height. Also, I got this belt in 2018, so about two years ago. Actually, I'm going to show you now what came with it so you guys know what the Gucci experience was like um, and also the receipt so you guys know how much it cost. So this is the shopping bag. This is the box. Um, it comes with a dust bag like this. And then oh, also the box was actually like wrapped kind of like a present with a ribbon with this around it. And then finally, the um, receipt, which comes in this little envelope. And then inside is my receipt and also this little, I get, this is the return policy. Something about 14 days of exchange or return. I'm in Canada, by the way. And then finally, the receipt. I think that they've increased the prices since. So let's just see if that is true. So I got it for, it was $540, you guys. And I'm on the site right now. It's... 590 so they increased this by, by $50 which is about 10% when did I get this August August 31st you guys so almost exactly two years since I've gotten this so Gucci definitely is expensive you guys um but I find that Gucci is actually on the lower end of the luxury market so there's like ready to wear contemporary and then like luxury like compared to like Louis Vuitton Chanel and Hermes Gucci's like pretty, like less expensive, I should say. I was gonna say more accessible, it is not. Also why you see this on more people than say the other brands that I've mentioned. And the reason why I got it was genuinely because I like the style. Um, I religiously follow fashion and Gucci and this belt was actually on my radar before they hit as big as they did. I just love, especially this size, you guys, I love how bold it is. And the reason that I finally took the punch and get this, because that was years before 2018, was because doing fashion during the summer is really challenging for me. Guys, I just wear t-shirt and jeans and call it a day because I'm just trying not to melt and like be uncomfortable. And this belt was gonna serve as like a cheat for me. My plan was just to put it on and look like I'm doing fashion when really all I'm doing is wearing a belt. And also that's actually how I'd recommend wearing this is just keep everything as simple as possible because this thing is so loud that it can come off like really flashy and tacky. Also looks best on a high-waisted jeans. So if you wear lots of like high-waisted jeans, definitely get this. Um, looks terrible on a suit. Please don't wear this with a suit. It looks so, so tacky. Key. And also I think that because of the antique brass gold hardware, it's a little more approachable and less intimidating to wear than say like a shiny shiny gold, which I think they've started to make, which is just a choice personally. Also I think because of that, I think that this would look good with like a bohemian like rocker look if you're looking for a way to like elevate it. I think that this is a good way to do it. Now in terms of wear on the buckle, again, this is an antique brass gold. So I think that it's more forgiving for wear because of it, because it's supposed to look old anyway. However, um, on the highest parts of it, so like these parts here, there is some um, of the antique brass gold coming off. I don't know if you can see that. Like here, here, like there's like some silvers peeping through. Um, but otherwise, I feel like it adds character to it, so I honestly don't mind because, again, that's kind of the look it's going for. In terms of quality, I'm really happy with it. So I'm going to unravel this and show you the leather because it's still in amazing condition. It's pretty much, like, new to me. Um, it's really thick and, like, substantial feeling. Like, none of the threads have, like, come off or undone. Nothing is wrinkling or separating. Now, is the leather worth $500? I don't know about that. Um, also, it has five holes. I'm going to talk about sizing later, so keep watching. Also, by the way, you guys, if you are enjoying this content, please consider liking and subscribing. I'm trying to get to a thousand subscribers, so anything helps. 
Anyway, back to the belt. The only part that's like showing some wear, and this is from personal use, is that there is a kink here. And that is because this is the part that falls in the back of my pants. Um, because I am slightly too big for one of the holes. That sounded weird. Um, so I'm gonna show you. So it's this last hole here. Um, so by the way, you guys, the holes are all an inch apart. So see, this is like I've damaged the hole. That is where it's supposed to hit and because I'm not small enough for this size like literally by like I don't know two three millimeters it goes like doo -doo. you see that like that much but like I said slightly slightly too wide <laughs> for this hole so that was a very vulnerable moment for me but let's keep going because now we're gonna talk about sizing so sizing is a very frequently asked questions about belts because if you don't know this belts are like pants you want to make sure you get the right size especially when you're spending this much money on one now to determine which size to get first you have to determine whether you're gonna wear this with mostly high medium or for whatever reason low rise bottoms and measure yourself there now, I recommended you wear this with high-waisted bottoms, but if you want to forego that advice... Anyway, once you measure yourself, go to the belts page and then go to the size guide and get the corresponding Gucci size. And that's it. But again, you want to make sure you get the right size because you only have five holes that are an inch apart. So that's only a total of a five inch allowance, which is not a lot. So for me, I actually got the wrong size. For me, I got the Gucci 80, which is a size 27, 28 inch. And preferably the buckle hits you um, the best in the middle hole. But as I showed you earlier, I used the last hole the most. So this would actually be good for a mid-rise bottom for me. Honestly, I have higher waisted jeans, which I would require another hole here, which I do not have. And the other thing that happens is the tongue with the end of this just gets like really extended on the other side and it sticks out, which is obviously not a good look. Also, the Gucci sizing refers to the distance between the end of the buckle to the middle hole. That's why that's your preferred size. And also you can, you have the allowance of going two inches lower or higher for bottoms. So for me, a size 80, so size 80 means 80 millimeters from the end of the buckle to the middle hole. I hope that was easy to follow because this is, I think, the most frequently asked questions about this belt. Again, it's super simple. Just decide whether you're going to wear this with high, medium, or low-waisted low -waisted jeans um, and measure yourself there and get the corresponding Gucci size to that. And that's it. Also, just don't compromise in getting the right size. When I was getting this in 2018, they were super popular then. I don't know how popular they are now, but sizes were really hard to get. And so I feel like people may also just be compromising on, oh, that size up or two sizes up will work and don't do that because again, these are like jeans. They have to fit just right. Now, finally, should you get this in 2020? This is the part that's like iffy for me. So generally, I would say get anything that you love. Um, but for something so trendy, you really got to make sure you separate between desiring this because it's super popular and because you like it because it's expensive and it's i think that gucci is has already peaked personally i think they've peaked so if you're still jumping that bandwagon people are getting off it so if you're the only one in the wagon you gotta make sure you really enjoy this wagon for the ride and not because of everybody else that's there like for me when i got this in 2018 i wore this non-stop i felt really great wearing this i felt powerful just like me in my like t-shirt and jeans and surviving the heat of summer and feeling like I'm still participating in fashion because of this belt. But I will say after like a year, I wore it less and less. And not necessarily because I was getting tired of it. I think that my style was just gradually becoming more muted that this wasn't reflective of that. Again, this belt makes a loud statement and you wanna make sure you personally and individually like that statement and not because it's a trendy cool statement to make right now because again i think that gucci has peaked already and that's going to be a diminishing return on your purchase because again you guys it really is good quality 
like it's a good belt like wear it for that all right you guys so that's it for this video i hope you enjoyed it and if you were deciding to get this belt i hope that this video was helpful in your decision making and again i am trying to get to a thousand subscribers so do please consider liking and subscribing if you enjoyed this video otherwise ain't no party like a chairs party bye